all need to say what the fuck? I I was impressed, huh? What? Who is this? He's a burn him up. Oh, so he's... Eight of my men died. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. He kept you safe. Kept you bed. As long as I look the other way. Well, that expels a th theory of mine that maybe Milton could save Andrea. He's in the same position. I don't see a way back for him. Um, it's a similar thing with Shane, actually, but it feels like this has happened so much more abruptly with the governor. Like, Shane took me, took me much longer to sort of get to the point of being like, he should go. Now, like, oh. Time for you to graduate. Time for you to graduate? You kill or you die. Gosh almighty. Well, what's your daughter think? Oh, what you are. Gosh. She'd be afraid of me. But if I'd been like this from the start, she'd be alive today. What? So he's like, so he knows that the... Did you kill Andrea? No, she's still alive. You'll see, man. What was I saying? Sorry, one thing before we get to this Andrea thing. Um, so he's like aware of the fact that the person he is is a bad person. But he now thinks to himself like if he wasn't that person, or if he was that person before, things, certain things wouldn't have happened. I'm trying to think if Shane's logic was like that. I'm pretty sure Shane just thought he was doing the right thing. Like I think it was heavy for Shane, but you know what? I don't actually think it's fair to parallel Shane with the governor. I, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just another thing. It's just a completely different thing. Maybe at some point I'll dissect the difference between them and, and my thoughts on on their decisions. But yeah, Philip knows. Oh, that's the difference. So the difference is that Shane was acting the way he was because he was still fighting for people that were alive. The governor's acting the way he is because he didn't act that way when his family was alive. And it's like insanity. He's just doing it because he can. So Andrew's I'm gonna need her for something. I heard you in the other room. Yeah, you don't have to lose any more of your men. That's not what he cares about. He doesn't care yeah, about losing his win. Oh, I just thought of something horrid. And it better not be... Oh, I'm not even going to relay what I just thought that he may have done. You're going to kill her now. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. That theory's gone. There is no way you are leaving this room without doing it. So your life or hers? He's putting that... Bro. Milton's got too big a heart. He's going to try to attack the governor and he's going to get bloody slaughtered, man. So, it, it kind of, although, unless the governor kind of knows that he won't do it, unless he's already made that character judgment and he's making gambles. Oh, what did I just say? And see, like, the governor's like, it's not even to the point of just, like, killing him. It's just like, look. I told you you were going to do it. You're going to turn. And you're gonna tear the flesh from her bones. Oh my freaking god. Now I could talk for so freaking long. It does confirm it to me. Wait, hold on, are they packing? Goodbye prison. Well, I'm happy that we're doing this, man, because this is a fight we don't want, but it's just gonna come back. Philip's not going to stop, but we're moving. So the prison, which was a chance for us. Why is he so mad? I've never seen this man. Even with Lori, just shut down. Yeah. He's still a kid. Just hope Rick doesn't lose sight of Laurie because it, it's like she's guiding him. Mel never did nothing like that his whole life. It's really hard to feel sorry for Mel. It is, but I do. And I'm not going to lie about that. You had to think about it. Wow. You had to. I get it. Come on, Michonne. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I came real close. But you didn't. Thank goodness, man. You know. It was Carl who made the call. He said you belonged here. You're one of us. 
They kill eight men back there, and they're not going to stop until they kill us all, taking everything we worked so hard for. We're going to end this. People, that, people aren't going to follow us. easy to say. You're going to have to count us out. What did I say? And we'll stay here and defend the children. Be careful, he snapped. You want us gone? No hard feelings. Think about the people that are watching right now, Philip. Still putting on a face. Thank you. Oh, get out of there. Oh my gosh. It's not as bad as Andrea sticking around for as long as she did. I mean, now she doesn't have much of a choice, but... Destroying the things on absolutely no reason. All the ammo wasted, the better. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, that actually kind of scares me the most is that Philip goes with, you know? Like, and it's kind of like. It freaks me out just a little bit because it shows you that he's not scared. He doesn't fear for his life. Like, he is there to fight, he's there to kill. Have we left them any surprises? That's my other question. So I was wrong actually. So there are still a lot of people following the governor, but like I said, Philip's only chance now for me is scaring them enough to like, the, the fearing not following him and what the consequences. Yeah, and what? Shock and forth, they have done good on the Resident of Life and they have done evil on the Resident of Life. Whoa! Let's split up that. You can take a group that way. You make a group bodily. It's a weird episode because my heart tells me they're not here, but who knows? Maybe we've set our own traps. I left some pliers on the floor behind you. Poor guy, man. If you can drag. Mm, if you can drag your right foot back, you, you, you can get them. Mm. I knew he was good, man. I knew... I don't, I'm not going to say from the start, but I knew he was going to turn out okay. So weird because, like, I don't think I, think I ever got enough time to properly appreciate his character because he was always doing the bidding of a psychopath. Bro, we've set, we've, we've set a trap, haven't we? The fact that Philip's coming here, by the way, has kind of blown my mind. What do you think happens when they return? I might have to slip out. Andrea made it out. So they're anchored down now by the responsibility of what they're doing, which is a responsibility. They can't just leave now. But once Philip's back, it's like, can you ever leave? I do not believe that you can leave Woodbury. Well, there's a possibility you could leave for a first time. Like I said, you can't just leave for a second time, you know? And he's a vengeful man. Bill? Poor guy, man. Bloody fella. Help. Why did she stay? She wanted to help, ma'am. I wanted to save everyone, even the governor, for a while. You see, I don't blame her for that. I would have wanted to rescue him from himself. That's just what I believe. Like, I, I now it's a bit different. Now I'm like, I, I can understand, but back then, it always felt to me like he was reachable. Same with Shane. That's why I never lost hope with Shane that something could turn around. Same with Merle. You know, like it just gets to a point I'm like, I, I see potential. Now, this is the first character I think in the whole of the show which I don't see any potential turnaround for. Because most of the other characters don't either. They don't last long enough or I still have faith when they die that they could have turned around. Philip, not anymore. So I understand her point of view. A lot of people won't. won't. A lot of people will say, Andrea this, Andrea that. I agree, she should have got out sooner. She saw the signs, she had warnings, she had other people warn her she didn't get out. That's her fault. She's taken way too long to realise this, but I can't exactly complain. Maybe I would have done the same. I don't know. Based on my reaction style and how I notice that I give people way too many second chances, maybe I would be in this situation. I'm mad at her for not realising sooner, but... No one can understand that situation until they're in that situation. Like we say, the, the apocalypse shapes people in a way that life can't. And it brings either the best out of people, the worst out of people, or a bit of both. I tried to stop it all another way. Yeah. 
because I didn't want anyone to die. I think the point to consider though is she always was trying to do the to do the right thing. He's fighting men. Yeah. You need to hurry. You can feel it, ma'am. How on earth is she gonna get out with that? Why? Dude, imagine someone's... Or are they playing that card? Get out of here! Wow! So wait, hold on. That's why... That's why Carl was mad. Not because they weren't staying and fighting, but because he wasn't allowed to stay and fight and everyone else... Oh my gosh. You should be there. No. I thought that they were gonna leave. Look at them scat, man. All I can think is someone's going to oh. die. Don't shoot. Drop the weapon, son. Oh my god, Carl. Oh, Carl, like... It's so weird, because of course I don't agree with that, but... He's learnt to not give people the benefit of the doubt. That's horrible to watch, man. He's only a child. We should finish it. It is finished. Didn't we see Mahatel out of here? It's, it's not be, finished. They will be dead. Chance. He's not gonna stop. All or nothing. Yeah. Wait, what? Are you having a laugh? Going to Woodbury to take the fight to them? Like, the problem is, right, hear me out with this little problem or theory that I've got. For the most part, I think Mo a lot of our group members are incredibly moral and they will make moral decisions when they can. They will make the right decision when they can, the characters have been of the doubt. Obviously, what I've just seen with Carl, maybe not with Carl. If the governor really is retreating to Woodbury, he's retreating behind a lot of innocent people that are, they, they don't actually know what they're fighting for. Are we gonna just go in and shoot the place up? I don't think that's the smart decision. Maybe we're victorious, but there is no way that we go he head to head with the governor and come out casualty free. There is no way. A kid running away. He stumbled across us. No, he drew on us. I'm going with you. He wants to grow up so fast and he wants to be like his dad. He wants to make the tough decisions, but he's only a child, man. You think about how much more influenced child children gun. are by their upbringing. Carl said it was in defense. He didn't have to shoot. He had every reason not to. Maybe it looked like that to you. Rachel. What? He gunned that kid down. Bro, Herschel standing up like that just, oh my gosh. But Rick needs that. What the hell are you doing? See how we just... Dig in. It's you, not worth it. That was you see, see how we just retreating? Want us to kill biters? Of course, but this is crazy. Like, go home. Are you going to be safe? <laughs> I was only like, joke. I, I thought he was just gonna shoot one or two of them. Jesus, this is just even worse than I anticipated. How many people did he just gun down? His own people as well. Because they were scared. Why doesn't he? Dude, I'm kinda of surprised that he didn't just shoot. He leaves witnesses. I would not be feeling safe where you stand, my friends. We didn't even need to take out his army. Bro, she still hasn't picked that up, G. Ain't got no skills. He's dumb, man. I just don't understand the mechanism. Obviously, Philip kept her here because he wants to, like, torture her and hurt her. But I thought he'd have some kind of ulterior purpose, like, he wanted her at least... I don't know, like, he was gonna force her to stick around, but no, he's literally trying to murder her. 
So him trapping her and torturing her is just for the fun of it. I'll be so annoyed as well if she dies after all of this. Oh, gosh. I couldn't take the chance. I didn't kill the rock and I killed Dale. Look what happened. So that is not the same thing. You didn't kill Andrew. And he came back and killed Mom. You were in a room with the governor. And you let... Blaming his father. That's crazy. Imagine it's Carl that extinguishes Rick's moral... No, 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 no. Carl was almost like shaping like Shane. Like, the thing is, is a lot of people say, I, when those videos came out, a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people were commenting stuff like, Shane's logic makes sense. You know, not justifying it, and I know they weren't justifying it, but a lot of people were saying, that is the way you need to be to survive in a world like this. That is what Carl, to me, looks like he's shaping towards. Like, he's orienting towards that kind of mindset of kill or be killed. No, Rick has definitely instilled a moral side in him because he would not have let Michonne survive if that wasn't the case. Like, the thing is, we already had moral sides. That's the thing that fascinates me about Carl, Carl's character, is he is literally developing his moral side as we speak. So goodness knows where he ends up. I did what I had to do. It's like he, just, he just doesn't believe in his father's way. He go. So he doesn't kill any more of us. Jesus Christ, Carl. Wow. We don't know where the governor is. If he comes back, we'll hold him off. Just the three of us. Oh gosh. Appreciate you stay. Now we see the extent the governor is willing to go. Like, that, oh man, that, that would just freak me out. Like, imagine being in that situation and just seeing all. Wait, where's the where's the lady? Oh! Don't shoot, please. Don't do what. See, Rick won't kill her. That's the thing. In this situation, I don't think Rick will kill her. Oh No way they kill Andrea, man. No, 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 no. She's done it. No, she survived. She survived, 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 she survived. Seconds, man. Oh my god, we're literally in Woodbury, for God's sake. Where's that lady gone? Tyrese! Yes! Dale! It's him! Karen! Karen, are you okay? <gasps> I'm fine! Why are you with them? They saved me! Bro, that's crazy. We're coming out! What are the odds, man? I need to remember their names, but... <sighs> Bro, we're just gonna hijack Woodbury. Imagine that. What are you doing here? We were coming to finish this. Until we saw what the governor did. Turning his own people. Yeah. Oh my god. This is where he had Glenn and Maggie. The governor the hell Wow, so we're oh, literally no. saving Andrew as well. Oh my. Bro, the governor's got no troops as well, so what the hell's he gonna do? She's alive in there, man. Sakes. Bro. It's good you found me. All I can say is at least you got no, to see. Alone now. At least she, good. she got to see our family again, man. I just didn't want anyone to die. I can do it myself. No. No, I have to. <sighs> 
hate that death so much because it's, it's not even like she got beaten by the apocalypse. She got murdered by a psychopath. That, just, that actually makes me so mad it's not even funny, man. It's hard to feel, like, that sad because I, like, I, I always felt conflicted with Andrea. Always. This is no way to go out, man. For God's sakes. I know how the safety works. <laughs> she did not just say that. Safety. Fucking hell. <laughs> well, I'm not going anywhere. She can die with those she loves, man. I tried. You did. I ain't crying. I'm not gonna cry today. Governor. The show's just constant with the deaths. Non stop. So, I, I, I look at all these people coming as well. So, we're. We've basically yes. gone and saved a bunch of people from the governor. Well, I say that. You're gonna join us. Whoa. So, he's a. Carl is starting to scare me a little bit, man, if I'm completely honest. And we move on. Well, we move on. Well then, that was a bit silly. I just spoke for a good five minutes and I wasn't recording. Let's restart. So you basically missed that whole emotion. Uh, my emotions are back to normal now. Great. So you missed all of that post-reaction emotion. Fantastic. I was kind of talking about maybe that was underwhelming. Maybe my reaction, the fact that there's no tears, maybe the lack of emotional response or, you know, it was not as strong as say when Laurie died or when Dale died or, or, or you know, stuff like that. Maybe you're thinking, dude, that was so underwhelming. I know. And I, I, I think I know why. I think I pieced together why that didn't feel as it did with other characters. Now hear me out. Ever since the start of Andrea, since day one, I've felt weird about her. I've had conflict with her. I've, I've not agreed with her in some situations. And ever since that moment where she pulled a gun on Rick in that mall, I could tell she was a bit hot-headed and maybe a bit excessive. I could tell she didn't quite... I don't know. I want to put it like she wasn't making the right decisions, but I felt like... She was making the wrong decisions for the situation she was in. Like, she, the, those decisions in other scenarios would be the right decisions. I don't know how to explain that. But my point is that I always had conflict. She was with Shane and she had that relationship with Shane. And she was making Shane-like decisions. And she was anti-Rick, anti-Laurie. And we had those moments. Sticking around with the governor for too long. That ignoring me shown that like there's so many reasons why I was conflicted with her I didn't really agree with her and I thought maybe I kind of got to the point where at some stages I didn't like her I think that's what's confusing but then again we had so many beautiful moments like her sticking up to the governor her staying to fight for the right reasons we can't just think that she stayed when she shouldn't have she stayed to fight for the right reasons she even stood up against Shane when she needed to like she always had that side of her which was like beautiful and amazing and I saw so much with her character Character and those moments alone made me love her. It was like a love-hate relationship. Like, one minute I hate, I, I thought she was annoying and the next minute I loved her to bits. I'm not always going to agree with characters and characters are going to be all over the place or characters are going to have very, very different ways of doing things and that's, I think, what that was trying to illustrate. But that's my point. Like, it's been so confusing constantly with her to the point where now when we've got to her death and it's so underwhelming because it's just a psychopath, you know? It's not even like she's died heroically. I'm saying, well, she has died. She was fighting for what she believed in, which is heroic in itself, but what I'm trying to say is the definitive death or the act of dying was completely out of her hands. She took too long to make a decision, got her kidnapped, and she was tortured, and she was killed by Philip, which is, I think, the underwhelming bit as well. It's like, gosh, Philip is just chaos everywhere he walks and he so easily kills people someone he once cared about as well by the way that snapped inside him just destroyed everything that he was and i always spoke about how philip as much as he was becoming the, becoming the governor before his daughter was murdered it was like so murdered the walker was murdered it felt like there was still a reachable side to him like as much as he was slowly like he had a reason for doing what he was doing kind of some of the things were still a bit questionable but he had a reason generally for what he was doing but then that snapped him and then i knew from that moment andrea wasn't safe sticking around was never going to be safe going against him was never going to be safe and i knew even before him murdering all his troops like i said 
people will stop following him. They will fear him and they will stop following him and then no one is safe. And I think Andrea just fell victim to that. I think there's no other way to put it. Like it's, it's underwhelming. It really is. Would I have done something different in her situation? No idea. I spoke about it in the reaction. I don't know what I would do in that situation. But it's just so underwhelming. Like even when Philip's not even there, it's like boom, characters die because of him. It's crazy. But yeah, anyway, that's why I'm confused about her because all this time it was so confusing. But I just want to get it straight that ultimately I disagreed with her. She had her moments of being troubling, but I loved her and I'm really going to miss her. <laughs> I bloody well mean that. And just that line there, like, oh, I know where the safety is. It's making me bloody shiver now thinking about it, but like... She had a good heart, and I'm just glad that come the end of her story, she could be with her family. Oh, it scared me, you know, that scene when she's like driving away from from the prison, uh, and everyone's in the uh, rearview mirror, and she's making a decision to go and save these people. I was like, oh gosh, that's it. She's not going to see us again. She got to see us. She got to be with her loved ones when she died. And now she gets to be with her sister. Uh. It's weird because it maybe it also is like an aspect of desensitization. Like the, people just are dying left, right, and centre. Maybe I'm like getting to the point where I'm just like, oh my god, Andrew's now died and it's taken my thought away from Merle. Merle literally just died. Maybe I'm desensitizing. Or maybe another one's gonna die and it's gonna kick me in the teeth even harder. This show is just horrid, man. But yeah, what what else can we talk about? Yeah, like I said, he's he will be back. This is not the end of Philip. He hasn't quite lost Woodbury. I, I kind of thought we would take Woodbury, but, Woodbury, but it makes more sense to be in the prison. It's more defendable. Yeah. Uh, but now we do pose another risk. Now this brings so many complications beyond the governor coming. Right into that reaction, we see Carl and his like, disagreement with all these people coming a part of our tight-knit community. Now I understand his point of view. At one point we're sitting there thinking we're being, we're being, we're being cautious about who we invite in. We're not inviting everyone in just because we can. You know, we're, we're being very cautious. We're being very family orientated and we're not trusting for the sake of trusting. Now, that seems to have been thrown out the window, at least for right now. Rick's in a weird stage where he's like, I think Carl needs a role model that's moral, but then Rick's also got all the weight of the decisions he's making, and could this have consequences? 100%. I feel like it's not gonna be smooth sailing having these people around. Can they even trust another leader? That's a whole nother question for the next couple of episodes. Do we have more conflict with these new characters? The more people, it's actually, I believe it's going to be harder to lead as well. More decisions, more of a democracy needed. Maybe it becomes a thing of having multiple leaders. Daryl, Glenn, Maggie, Carol, all of our characters as well that can step up if needed. But yeah, how does this even work? Especially with characters disagreeing from the get-go. I don't know. It's a tough one, but like I said, there's more than just Philip now. And that's another thing that worries me is we can't just put our minds to defence and worrying about where Philip is and when he's going to come back. It's trying to build a society now with what we've got. Like, there's more new people than we had originally. Do you see my point of view? So it's... Yeah, there's too much to think about. But anyway, look, we'll get to that in a second, guys. If you enjoyed this reaction, as ever, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for new content every single week. And of course, follow the Instagram, Daniel Reed with two Ds. And let me know down below. The, oh, yeah, that's right. I haven't been responding to comments. That's the thing. I want to say let me know down below, blah, 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 blah. But I'm scared of the comments, man. Maybe Philip's just floating down there or something. I will eventually talk to you guys, I'm sure. But anyway, that's all for me, guys. As ever, it's been your boy Dan. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.